Well, we got a special Phasmophobia update for the new year, and, uh, honestly, by the looks of it, apparently there's a lot of things that I'm not gonna miss from, uh, that, that, that have been fixed. Um, I can't wait to play the game, and, uh, I'm just waiting for the right time because it's a bit chaotic right now. So, we have new lighting changes, texture fixes, and bug fixes all around. The devs have brought mass forward massive changes and fixes to lighting including new graphic settings added to the journal, currently not available for VR and requires a graphics card. Eye adaption simulates your eyes adjusting to light or dark areas over time. Screen space global illumination, or SSGI, simulates balanced lighting, making lighting, ma ma bleh, making lighting and shadows look less dark. This may affect performance, so there are three quality settings. Static lighting has been overhauled in all locations. Ambient lighting has been increased. Lighting from outside sources, meaning streetlights, will now shine through windows. Larger room or larger rooms or rooms with darker materials, such as farmhouses, may look darker. However, this is intended. Changes, including the obvious holiday event illumination, because it's January now, removed the holiday event. Reflections net will now update quicker and more consistently when light lights are toggled on or off. The brightness slider has been adjusted to 0 to 250% and its maximum value lowered slightly due to the new brighter ambient light. The cursor brightness slider up has been adjusted to be 0 to 100%. Moved the wardrobe and lights in the nursery in Grafton for better lighting. Adjusted the ward range and brightness of the passive player light. Adjusted the range and brightness of several location lights to make them more realistic. Grafton hiding spots, the upstairs halfway arm hallway armchair and nursery curb are now hiding zones that and can be blocked. The upstairs armchair has been moved closer to the wall to make it safer. Adjusted the player post processing to give slightly more cinematic colors. Improved performance when toggling the fuse box. Ghost writing books can no longer be thrown by a poltergeist ability. You know, why does none of that make me feel safer in this game? <laughs> and finally, the bug fixes across the game include metallic doorknobs are now shiny again. Fixed several safe spots in Willow. Deja Vu Weekly Challenge now has the correct items. Glow in the Dark Weekly Challenge now has the fuse box on the correct state broken. Hide and Seek Extreme Weekly Challenge now correctly has three evidence. Adjusted several reflection probes in Tanglewood to stop glowing objects when a light is turned on in a different room. You can now take a photo of the Sunny Meadow Summoning Circle. Motion sensors now correctly show detections on the truck map. Fixed truck map. What the hell's that? Fixed safe spots in the Sunny Meadows mail, mail room 5 and Maple Campsite Storage Tent 2. The ghost can no longer get stuck on the fallen down locker in the school hallway. Campsite A and B in Maple Lodge campsite will now work correctly. And, uh, I... I don't get, like... I cannot wait to play this game. Especially with these fixes, because obviously there's a lot that I need to do it. Um... For those of you that don't actually know, um, and, and in case my content's not any good, or in case you you know want to give a shout out in case my content is good, Cliff Beats is the person reason that I actually got into phasmophobia and uh, what he's a two hundred fifty one k now subscribers, and uh, he's um, he he he's literally his videos are literally the reason why I'm why why I started playing because there's only certain people I like watching games from and he's one of them so. Thank you for watching, and, uh, hey guys, yeah, give a shout out if you want. Like in the comments, what needs to be changed, what you didn't like about the video, and leave a like and subscribe if you want to follow for more. There's weekly content at the minimum, and I do try to keep up with my mental health enough that I'm not delayed on making videos, because I do always have something planned.